Congratulations, first of all, big birthday over the weekend? Yeah, I was 70. You turned 70. Yeah. Yeah. It's How the new 69. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? How do, how do you feel? It's kind of weird. It's one of those weird numbers, you know. Like when I was 60, I thought, yeah, pff, 60, who cares? 70 has a very odd feel to it. You know, people are phoning up, seeing if you're okay. And... <laughs> people a little worried about you. Yeah, you, have a, you won't be having a party. You'll be having a little rest, you know. And yeah. It's kind of it's, it's creepy. Well, how do you feel? I feel, well, I, th I feel 37. <laughs> That's good. I, 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 I was going to say, you're a very... You're a very youthful presence. You're a very, you know, fun, yeah. youthful personality. It's, it's, I shouldn't be here at all. I was in the car today on the way here. I was born in the middle of the war, the Second World War. And then I became a welder when I was 16. And I remember I was telling the girl who came here with me today, that she's a manager, the tour manager, that I used to weld in the double bottoms of the ship, you know, which is about this height, with these deep penetration rods with thick, thick fumes, yellow fumes, made my lips black. And I'd, I'd stop to come out and have a smoke. <laughs> come out and have a smoke, and the guys doing the pipes in the engine room, it was snowing asbestos on it. <laughs> hey, look at my hair, man, take it easy. I shouldn't be here at all. So. Right. <laughs> so I'm just delighted to be here. Do you, so you really think it really is true that it's, it's, it's how you feel? I mean, you, I think the fact that you've been in comedy and music for so long, and it's kept you young, probably. Yeah, younger well, it's, than, than it's, people your oh, age. The whole thing is deeply overrated, your age. Acting your age is about as sensible as acting your street number. Right. You know, it's, there's, right. No, there's no sense to it. Although there's kind of odd things happen to you that you have to pay attention to. Like hair sprouts where it didn't grow before. Like, <laughs> In your nose, but, but, but like ferocious. Not just little hairs, you're no, talking like I a mean whole. Like, woof. Yeah. And, and not only in your nose, but I remember, I swear this is true one day, I was leaning over the wash hand basin, I looked in the mirror, and there was a hair on my forehead. <laughs> in the morning, it must have grown overnight. I mean, it was in the middle of my forehead. You mean it grew this long overnight? Yeah. You're like a Dr. Seuss creature. <laughs> I, I, would, I would have noticed if it was there the night before. You know, when I was going to bed, I was surely I've seen it. <laughs> and I said to my wife, look at that. And she went, oh, and pulled it out. And I was <laughs> <laughs> But your hair on your nose grows at the most... It used to trim my nose hair once every 27 years or something. <laughs> Twice, twice every three weeks now or something like that. Just, and, you, and you have to wonder. Why not just blend it in with your mustache? Yeah. I mean, you could throw it out. <laughs> well, if you let it go, you, you get this kind of stereo mustache like, overlapping the front one. <laughs> and, and I was lying in bed thinking about it, and I thought, well, your body doesn't do things for nothing. You know, it must be a part. And you have to wonder what's the purpose of, 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 of long nasal hair. Is it? <laughs> You know, it's to it? keep things in it, you know, tie them up, and it's uh, tool gathering. I don't know. There's a purpose for it somewhere. And there's another thing happens to you as you get older. Involuntary noises. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean, you know, the obvious... Yeah. <laughs> but, but suddenly one day you lift something heavy. The previous day you just lifted it and put it over there. One, one day you lift it and you go... Ah, oh, Jesus! <laughs> and, and, from that, and, and from that day on, from that day on, that's the way it is, your suitcase. <laughs> Caveman, yeah. <laughs> There's no reason for it whatsoever.